Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. I get two questions asked quite frequently. One is how do you set up your bike for vlogging? It's a 2019 Street Glide if you're new here. And the other one is how do you set up your helmet for vlogging? So today I'm gonna answer both of those questions and we're gonna start out here on the bike and then we're gonna go into my porch where I do my editing and I'm gonna show you the helmet and we're gonna go into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you the tricks that I do to get my audio set up. So first of all, we have our Insta360 motorcycle kit right here with the clamp and the double ball arm mount. And I attach the bullet time selfie stick to that, which I'll show you in just a minute. The trick of this one is to not pinch these hard lines. And it can be hard to get a good angle on it, but you can see that the clamp doesn't go all the way around the handlebars. But because I have my cup holder on the other side, that negates mounting it there. But there is room to mount it over here. And you can see from the underside, I think, yeah, there's the underside. You can see where the clamp goes and it's not pinching the hard lines or anything else that's in there. That's the trick there. So whenever you see my Hero 9 in frame, it's attached right here. It goes straight up and then it ends up right about in here somewhere. And it sort of blocks the tachometer and part of the voltmeter from my vantage point sitting on the bike. Outside of that, we have GoPro's The Remote and it's just strapped inside the cup holder. And notice, it's not going across the cup holder. Instead, it goes around the outside ones and in, in there. I don't know how to explain it. You can see it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I set up my bike to go vlogging with a two camera setup. Obviously, if I'm doing something else, I usually point it out in the video. So I'll hang the Hero 8 off the left saddlebag guard, hang the 360 in a number of places. But that's that's my two that's my two camera vlogging setup. That's the simplest, easiest way that I do things, and it's about it's all about repeatability, right? So it takes me like 45 seconds to spin the camera on because I keep it on the selfie stick, the Hero Nine that is, and the 10 is on my helmet from when I'm inside the house getting ready. So let's go. Speaking of house, let's go in the house and we'll take a look at the helmet and DaVinci Resolve setup. So we're here in the porch, as promised. I have my Hero Nine. It's on the selfie stick. It's a four foot selfie stick when fully extended off frame. But this is the bullet time one. Yep, it says designed for bullet time right there. Yeah, that, that's important. This is uh, reinforced, but I use the Sky Jiffy because the selfie stick has a quarter tripod mount. See that? You can see that there, right? Yeah. It's got a quarter inch tripod mount, and then the Sky Jiffy adapts that to the GoPro finger system. Yeah, so there it is. So literally, I walk out of the house with this. This always stays like this. Walk out, screw it into place on the handlebars. There's one camera. Camera number two, the Hero 10. See that? They both have a max lens mod on them. I love the max lens mod, okay? But you can see here, that my Purple Panda microphone cord plugs into the back of the media mod. It's taped up over here, runs down, and look at, ooh, what's that blue thing peeking out? Yep, that is a piece of microfiber cloth wrapped around a furry dead cat, which is wrapped around the Purple Panda microphone, and then all the cables, you know, tucked up and hidden and everything. And this is how I get my sound. And in a minute, we're gonna go into DaVinci Resolve, and I'm gonna show you how I sync my files and get that all squared away and get all the post-production magic working on the audio. But pretty simple setup, right? I walk out of the house with this thing in my hands and this thing, and usually <laughs> this is actually in here and I carry it by the strap. And I walk out and I've got this and spare batteries. Everything's in my brain bucket, ready to rock and roll. So I walk up to the bike, set it in the tour pack. Like I said, screw this on the handlebars. And then there's one camera, the second camera set up. So then I'll turn on both cameras, then turn on the remote, and then tap the microphone here, tap the microphone here, make sure that the audio meter on the back of the 10, because when you have a media mod, you get the audio meter on the back that tells you the audio level, make sure it's picking up the right audio uh, microphone, and then it's time to rock and roll and go vlog. So once I get back from a ride, I download the footage to my computer, and then I'm gonna show you, we're gonna hop into DaVinci Resolve and set up a sample project real quick, okay? So let's do that now. 
So we're here in DaVinci Resolve and I've got a new project started. So I will go ahead and grab some files from another project as a demonstration. And I've already got them renamed and in folders. And if you drag them into this master bin, it creates sub bins for each camera if that's how you stored them. So we'll just grab the first one from the Hero 10 here, and then we'll grab the Hero 9, same thing. And I already know that the Hero 9 started early, so we'll just grab this, it's off kilter. And I like to rename my tracks. And I've already done a multicam tutorial. So we'll zoom out, and then we'll turn off the track selector for the Hero 10, Alt-Y to select them all, find a spot where the audio seems to be about the same. And you notice just the Hero 9 is selected. So we'll move that until it's lined up. Bingo, bango, bongo. Zoom back out, go home. Make sure our first clip is re-extended to the beginning. And then in here, it created the timeline one. We'll move that to master. Right click on it, convert it to multicam. Rename it. And then drag it into a new timeline. And I already know that this is going to be voice. The second track will be music, and then the last one will be sound effects. So to fix the audio, you know, it, it doesn't sound bad, right? It's a great thing. We're out on twos, enjoying the commute. So it doesn't sound too bad, but we want it to sound better. So I go into my effects and the clarity plugin, which I did a video on, drag it in, drag it up to about 65%. Your mileage may vary. Close that. Go to Fairlight Effects, a built-in dialogue processor, drag that on, select Male VO, turn off D-Rumble, done. And then I'll chop, 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 edit, 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 go over to the Fairlight tab, grab the master plugin, and drag that here. And that's Alex Audio Butler. We'll set it to General Archive, and then we'll grab the voice, constant source, natural. Make sure it's first in line here. Grab music, we want that on level three. Sound effects, we want that level four. And if you're looking for a more in-depth tutorial on Unimule's Alex Audio Butler, I've already done a video on it, but we've got all those set up. We come back here, play through, and render. And that's it, that, that's really all there is to it. It's pretty simple, I get that. I also know I've done it 400 times, so it seems simple to me. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, right? You know, I can, I'm willing to help if I can. I will tell you that I paid for Clarity and I did a review on it and I did a review on Alex Audio Butler. I think it's gone subscription now, I'm not really sure, but Alex Audio Butler does all the leveling and a tiny bit of vocal work, I think, on the voice track. But really, if you're using DaVinci Resolve Studio, you just need Studio. It has a voice isolation built in. If you're using the free version of Resolve, for like 30 bucks, you can download Clarity. I already did a video on it, I'll link it here and it's 30 bucks and I paid for it and it's awesome. So that is the audio setup. And really it comes down to the bike. I have the Memphis Shades eight and a half inch recurve spoiler windshield and the Batwing wings. Both of those do a huge job of cutting down on the wind buffeting that hits my helmet, hits me, hits the microphone, which makes for much cleaner audio. If you don't have a fared bike, it probably won't be as good. I have the bobber. And with or without a windshield, I gotta crank that thing up to like 75%, clarity that is. So it gets a little more complicated for your GoPro setup and trying to get good audio, at least with a half helmet. If you have a full face helmet, rock on, you do you. I'm gonna keep rocking the half helmet. So hopefully that explains the answers to the questions I get asked most frequently. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you know somebody who's looking to set up a GoPro, share it with them. They, they might appreciate something like this. And until next time, I'm gonna leave a playlist of all my moto vlogging gear set up right here. And I'm gonna wish you have a great day. Go out and get creative, do vlogging, do stuff. Video's fun, bye.